Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here as his envoy? Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old neighbors have been reduced to begging. If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. There's some disease spreading. Disease? Folk is saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It started the day after the raid. First the horses got sick, then other animals, and now people are falling ill too. Damn! Are you alright? Well, at least I haven't caught the sickness. But you've been hurt. It happened during the raid. One of those damn bandits fell on me, horse and all. My arm... Oops. I don't mean to do that, but his arm's broken. Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was taken captive. I'd like to question him. Aye, old Melikar let him have it over the head with a flail. And now he's locked up in the barn. But be careful. Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw and his old man's sharpening his sickle for him. Melikar still hasn't decided what to do with him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Melikar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. First the raid, and now this plague. God knows what they'll do. Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. About 20 of them. They weren't humans, though. They spoke Czech. You talked to them? No, no. They were shouting at us. They were very sure of themselves to begin with, but when we hit them in the woods, they didn't look so brave. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch of untrained villagers manage to hold off armed bandits? One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Melikar, who roused the whole village, and everyone grabbed what they could. Pitchforks, axes, flails, and we went out to face them. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torture but even the women here were armed with what they could find, and they took the bastards by surprise. Okay. About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable, so we knew something was up. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals started getting sick, one after the other, and then people. What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up, and others are spewing from the other end. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last legs, so no one knows for sure if it was the plague that got him. Either way, the animals are dropping like flies, and people will end up the same for sure. Who's ill now? I don't know. What, with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw have sick ones at home. Can I ask you a bit about metal yet? I haven't been here long enough to learn much, but ask away. Can you tell me something about old Straw? He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been out of his mind since his boy died. Well, it's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's worse, his wife caught the sickness, and he's not taking care of her. Where can I find this straw? When you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Straw lives in the right-hand one. What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge here, but he was killed in Neuhof. I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they picked Malachar. Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. What's Malachar like? The locals look up to him. Oh, I just asked this question. Sir Hanush. Thank God. Aye. Where does Malachar live? 
when you take the main gate out of the stables, you'll see two cottages outside. Melikar lives in the left-hand lot. All right. Well, this is a nice little get together with uh, with Matthias, but uh, he's got a broken arm, unfortunately. Sucks for him. I need to figure out where the main gate is. It's somewhere. I assume it's on the main road, but I don't see an actual gate. So I'm going to get on the horse. We're going to ride up this main road a couple times and just sort of see what's going on here. Because I don't think this is it. Then again, it might be. I feel like I'm heading too far. Yeah, I went way too far north. Um, oh, west, east, whichever way that is. Jump. Oh, well, we're not jumping over that. Yeah. They knew what I was going to do. All right, well. This is a main gate. I guess. Hold on, am I heading the right way? I mean, kind of. I guess. I've got no, I no idea what to do here, so... Somebody's on the left, someone's on the right. There's no cottages over here, so I guess it has to be one of these, right? And this isn't a barn, per se. A little thatch roof hut. Not even a cottage. And no one's no one's in there, so there goes that that plan. Yeah. So I just need to check people's barns at this point. Hopping over that. Hopping over that. Oh, I think this might be the main gate. I forgot about this uh, this road. Here is a gate. Ta-da. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll check this barn over here on the left. Yeah. Or we'll just talk to the guard and say, uh, where the fuck am I going? There's a guard? No, it's a watchman. Close enough, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk to him. Alright, so hopping on in. That is a house, but it's not the correct house. And this is some sort of grocer. I believe. And that's the grocery area. I'm not going in there. I'm not eating food in this fucking place. That seems like an awful idea. Why couldn't you guys just give me a a quest, just a, a waypoint, like, this is where this guy lives. I know where it is, I just don't understand what's the main gate. Alright, there's a cross on the door, hello? You, uh, you're straw. I can't talk to straw, great. Lock, that's a locked door, this is not a locked door. Hello. Dying woman. Oh. Uh. All right, well, she's sleeping. But I found her house. I found their house. That's great. I need to find another one with a cross on the door, maybe. Or... Oh, I got... Can I lockpick this? I sure can. Oh, ho. There we go. New level in stealth. Hot shit. Apparently, I'm trespassing here. Who are you? He looks like he's caught that sickness. What am I gonna do? If he dies, I'll be right back where I started. Punish for what? Oh no! All right, well, he's sick. Uh, it's it's locked. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. Well. Can I talk to? How am I supposed to talk to this guy? Well, I know, that's for the... I'll talk to him in a moment, but I need to talk to the other dude. I found the captive, though. That's been everything I need to do. A little villager, and a villager, and a Vincent. Yeah, these, these guys are all just sick as shit. 
Hello? Of course I'm trespassing here. Why wouldn't I be trespassing? Can't get up there. Can't get up there. This is stupid. That's not a door. If these guys happen to have a shovel, I'm still I'm still looking for a fucking shovel. And some bulls. But I've got no idea where the other guy is. I'm supposed to talk to you. I mean, I could just talk to the prisoner and say, Hello. Why are you sick? What have you done? All I know is that once I step in here, I'm trespassing. Now nobody knows I'm trespassing. Please end this. Jesus, he's Please. No more I'm to try and keep him alive. Wait, how am I supposed to... Jesus, he's sick too. How am I supposed to figure out how he's... How he's sick? How am I supposed to figure any of this out? Oh, I can rob here. I can get some cobwebs. That's nice. I can sell them. I can actually sell that for gold. That is stupid. Well, why do they end up having to get the plague and shit like that? That's That sucks. Okay. I'm supposed to talk to somebody, but they don't seem to exist. Just in general. Oh, Melikar, that's you. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. And Saradzig won't help us with that any more than he helped us when we were attacked. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Saradzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your Hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to. If she's actually there. She is. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us... The prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. Okay, well, I'll go talk to Johanka. I don't need... Now, there's no other objectives I need, like... Oh, God. Investigate the plague. Of course. Hello. Go. Go away. Leave me alone. I've already asked the local bailiff about the situation. I've done quite a bit, actually. I think. Jesus, he's sick. Yep. Too. Nothing else I can do. So I think I've basically investigated and done everything I need to so far. Q. Quest log. Uh, questions and answers. Um, I've already done a good amount of this, so I've already come up with uh, with symptoms, I believe. So I think I just need to fast travel all the way back to the, uh, the monastery. Wherever that is. I forget where it is. Oh, it's down here. Down in Sasau. All right, fast travel. Away. We need some food when I get down there, but... This'll work. I don't think I've been... Well, I have been attacked north of the monastery, but I, it's really close to the other city, so... It's not bad. I don't think. 
really. All right. So, Johanka is somewhere in here. Just existing. I'm pretty sure I can sleep in here, but I don't know if I really plan on doing that. I'd rather not try at this point. Actually, I could read as well. Wait a second. What am I doing? I'm looking for Johanka, aren't I? I believe so. All right. Let's check the quest again. Questions and answers. Scavengers? Is that it? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a that's a treasure that I'm still looking for. Oh, here we go. That's the other one. Okay, where's she at? Right where I left her, I think. Sleeping in this building. Or this building, whichever one. Oh, she's right here. Not even asleep. She's just wandering around her underwear. Uh, 